Hi, I'm Kelly Craig, and we're staying healthy with Cleveland Clinic Florida. Our guest today, you've seen him many times on our show, he's Dr. Edward Savage, a cardiothoracic surgeon at Cleveland Clinic Florida. And today we're tackling leaky valves, or what is known as mitral valve regurgitation. Dr. Savage, thanks. That's a scary term. What is a leaky valve? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a valve that doesn't shut properly, and so the blood leaks backwards when it shouldn't leak backwards. Ooh, that sounds dire. Is it, or is it something that builds up over time? Well, actually, it's a, a matter of degree. Mm -hmm. So actually, quite a few people may have a leaky valve that just leaks a little bit, and they can live with that their whole life without a problem. But at some point in time, if that leak becomes too severe, too much, that the heart can't handle it, then we have to intervene. How do you intervene? What are some of the treatment options? Well, currently, most of the treatment options for leaky valves are surgical. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, we go in. Uh, for the mitral valve, we repair most of them. You can actually cut and move and sew back together parts of that valve, and you can actually reconstruct it and make it a functioning valve. Mm. Uh, for the aortic valve, sometimes that will leak, and occasionally you can repair those, but usually you have to replace them. And we always have the option of replacing it. So tell me, once a patient has undergone one of these options that you talked about, tell me about the feedback that you get from them. I, mean, I would imagine they feel like a whole new person. Well, some people aren't very symptomatic because we use certain types of criteria. For example, if we see early changes in the structure of their heart, we might recommend that they have surgery, particularly with mitral valve disease, mm -hmm. mitral valve leaks. But uh, patients who are very symptomatic, it totally changes their lifestyle. I have a patient who's just leaving the hospital shortly and his valve was leaking and he, could, he felt terrible. And the day after he woke up, despite the surgery and how the surgery takes a lot out of you, he could tell the difference when he walked and his breathing and how he felt. And it, those are very gratifying situations. And tell me what will be involved in, say, a patient like him in his follow-up. Well, we'll have to follow him up because he has an artificial valve, so mm -hmm. those valves can fail long term, so he'll need periodic follow-up to make sure that the valve's functioning okay, make sure there's no problems with it. He'll have to be careful taking care of his teeth to make sure he doesn't get infections on those valves. Now, that sounds serious, but actually, he will live a normal life. That's amazing. That's amazing. And always the team approach at Cleveland Clinic. Absolutely. For more information, log on to clevelandclinicflorida.org. There you will find fascinating articles and local Cleveland Clinic Florida resources that can help you. Remember to join us every Monday at 1130 for Staying Healthy with Cleveland Clinic. Staying Healthy on Six in the Mix is sponsored by Cleveland Clinic Florida.